Hello, Chuck Butall here, Director of Education, with one more when it comes down to it. In this particular case, people ask all the time, what is the easiest way to find out if the concrete may have too much moisture in it for a flooring system that's going to be put down? First thing you need to know is, is that flooring system designed for concrete? Secondly, of course, is to make absolutely sure you have the correct adhesives and moisture level in the concrete before you place that floor. For a great overview of using the ASTM testing method on concrete floors using non-invasive meters as a quick scan method, we're going to take it over to Dave right now. Take it away, Dave. Hi, I'm David from Tramex Meters, and today we're going to talk about the installation quick check for concrete moisture. Even if pre-installation moisture testing has been performed, conditions can change that will affect your installation of flooring or coatings. By implementing this easy insulation quick check, you can prevent failures before they happen. So the first data point we're gonna collect is the ambient conditions. The nice thing about the CMEX-5, it has a built-in hygrometer, which always is listing the ambient conditions across the bottom. And we're gonna focus more right now on the dew point. So the dew point is 58 in the air here uh, for the ambient conditions. And then we're gonna scan the surface temperature of the slab. And we're at 76. So we just wanna make sure that the surface temperature of the slab is at least 10 degrees Fahrenheit above the dew point. If you happen to be working in Celsius, you're gonna keep that number at five. But here we have the meter set at Fahrenheit. There is internal setting where you can switch to Celsius. We're working with a Fahrenheit number and we've made sure that we're at least 10 degrees above the ambient dew point with the surface temperature of the slab. Now the last step to perform in the installation quick check is to take a reading with the concrete moisture encounter on the surface of the slab. The nice thing about the concrete moisture encounters is that they're reading three quarters into the depth of the slab and giving an actual quantitative percentage of moisture content reading. So when we take the surface reading, we wanna make sure that we have a cleaned area. So we've abraded this a little bit and gotten any residue off the surface of the slab and avoiding any paint or drywall mud. Uh, we're just gonna press the meter on the surface and get a reading. And in each place we take a reading, we want to go around the horn, as we say. So we're going to do one at 12 o'clock. We're going to take another reading at 3 o'clock. We'll take another one at 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, back to 12 o'clock. And then we're going to take the highest number. So my highest number was 4% in this area. So we'll note the 4% number. Industry professionals generally recommend a number of 4% for floor coverings and 3.5% for concrete coatings. When taking surface readings, you wanna make sure you take at least eight readings in the first thousand square feet and five readings in each additional thousand square feet thereafter. Industry standards say that if no pre-installation moisture testing was performed and a flooring or coating encounters a failure due to moisture after install, the responsibility falls on the installer. Tremex recommends our installation quick check as a way to protect yourself against any moisture related claims after your installation. Wow, Dave, that was really great. Thanks for that video because you really showed us not only the concepts of how to place the unit and measure it, but also a bit about the standard itself. Remember folks, when it comes down to it, when you're putting down a floor on concrete, it's going to be your responsibility. So make sure again, no latexes, no mold food such as latexes, cellulose, and those type of materials at or below grade. Otherwise than that, the risk for mold is always there. Make sure your floor is properly dry, and if the indicators come out wrong for some reason as your moisture content, seek professional advice to dry the floor. Make sure it's going to stay dry before you go ahead and install your finished flooring. As always, thanks for learning with rtilearning.com.